Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This video kickstarts the beginning of my Christmas workshop 2018. So I know quite a few of you are going to be excited because you have been messaging me saying, Sam, when are you going to do Christmas projects? And I've done it a bit later this time. So last year I did do like a creative card series in the September. Don't worry, I'm still going to be doing fun cards as well, but I'm going to just combine it all together and Pretty much throughout November and into December, I'm going to be sharing lots of fun Christmas projects and I'm so excited. Okay, the first one is a requested one. Now this one's been requested to me for a while, but I kind of wanted to get it right. So this is called the Book Bookatrix, or Bookatrick. Okay, now it's really, it, it is a very, very old style. So let me just pull it out for you. And so basically it's an envelope gift bag, which I'll talk you through in a moment, and you get this stand, which I've made. But it's meant to look like an open book. Obviously you're going to see it from not the best view from the camera there, but you'll see in the videos. It's beautiful. This looks so lovely. And I'm just super pleased with how it's turned out. So I don't really know much about the word, the term book a trick or book of tricks, but basically this is a, it's a scoreboard. Um, I found tutorials from 11 years ago on YouTube, like when YouTube just started, and it's and the way the women were talking with the scoreboard, it had been going from you know years before that as well. And basically, you score each of these different sized pages on this um, scoreboard. Now, the difference with mine and the scoreboard is the scoreboard does do like fancy edges and all that kind of stuff, but I wanted to bring you a way of doing it with just normal straight edges and I still think it looks really nice and if I bring it up you can see where you just kind of lift up the pages to create that kind of you know dome effect and an open book look. Now to decorate it I've used the Hell's Couple, Di Hell's Couple Ditch the, um, Christmas Village which I'll show you in a minute and then I've just this is a stamp from my own um, stash but I just loved it because it says twas the night before Christmas went all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there and I just thought that looked really nice on the front of this book but obviously you could have that just to have your to and from mine is going to be on the back so here I'm going to have another white piece of paper card and I will write a nice little message and that's going to be stuck on the back now this is a card that you would need to hand deliver, I would say. So it's one of those really special cards, hence the envelope gift bag here that I've made to fit this specifically. Now this is a handy size as well, if you've got other things that you think, oh actually like a photo frame, that would fit nicely in this as well. So there are lots of elements to this, there are lots of ways for you to change and adapt it to your, you know, your needs, but let's get into it so I'm super excited to share this one so lots and lots of bits to it but like I said this is that special card so you know if you've got someone in mind that you want to make this for then it's going to be perfect so I will talk through everything as we go and I've made a few little differences things that you won't really notice in this video but um, I will talk you through so let's get all the main card stock that's the stand Okay, and I'm also going to show you the decoupage that I've used as well, so we'll go through all of that. So there's lots and lots of bits, it will all be broken down, so don't worry. Okay, so this is what we are using here, so it's Christmas Village, this is the decoupage kit, and this is the papers. This is just the top sheet, but just to show you there, it's so fun. I used the Beach Life last time, which was the Hell's Couple Ditch. The illustrations that she does are beautiful, and if you follow her on Instagram and Facebook, then you know you'll get to see what she's creating because she's a very talented lady okay so that is the paper pack and again I'll share all the links to everything and then this is the decoupage which you will be seeing me use quite a lot and I just love all the fun little toppers you can make from this and gift tags love these okay so to make the main card the, the book you are going to need four pieces of cardstock now it's up to you what order you do them in and what, you know, colours and all that kind of thing. Obviously mine's Christmas theme, but you may be making a birthday card, a wedding card, that would look really nice, so it's up to you. My Miri card is my base card, so it's a strong card stock. I'll buffer for all of those fingerprints, although you won't see hardly any of that because it'll get covered. Basically for this first piece, this is the main card size. This is ten and a half by seven 
okay? And there's no reason why you can't shrink this down either, but I wanted it to look like a nice big open book, that's why I've done it big. Piece of 10 by six and a half. Then my green piece to go on top of that is a piece of nine and a quarter by six. And then my decorative paper on top is eight and a half by five and a half. Okay, so those are our three pieces. So we're just, just gonna get straight into that first of all. So with your largest piece, along the longest side, so this is the 10 and a half inch side, you want to score at, f oh, at five and five and a half. Okay, and that's going to be our spine, and we're going to decorate that and everything. Then on the next size down, so the next biggest one, so this will be along the 10 inch side, you're going to score at four and three quarters and five and a quarter. So basically what I've done is I've found the halfway point of each size, and then I've done a quarter of an inch to the left and a quarter of an inch to the right, giving me a half inch spine. Okay, then my green piece is along the, oh, no, I've already put sticky tape underneath, so along the nine and a quarter inch side, you want to score at four and three eighths and four and seven eighths, okay? And then that last decorative piece, you want to score at, if I can see my score lines here, four and four and a half, okay? So that's those pieces. Then while I've got my scoreboard out, let's go through the back piece. So this is to decorate the back and then I'm gonna stick a white piece on top with my message. So if you want to do this, this is nine and a half by six and a half. And again, along the nine and a half inch side, you want to score at four and a half and five. Okay, two pieces of A4. Okay, so this is 11 and three quarters, 11 and five eighths, it always varies, by eight and a quarter, okay. So you need two pieces of that. You want to score along the longest side at half an inch, okay? And then just flip it around and do half an inch because some A4s are slightly different, so it's easier to do that way. And then on one of the, pop it on a short side, it doesn't matter which one, and then score at half an inch. Okay, so do that on both pieces. Then I've got a piece here which is to decorate and seal the top of the envelope gift bag, and that is five by two. Okay, I'll talk through the stand at the end, but I think we're there for the minute. Right, so let's start assembling our book of tricks. So, with your largest piece, what you want to do is just kind of burnish. You're not really folding it right over. It's, it's more just a marker. You see there, I've just kind of bent it up slightly. Don't start folding it right over, you, you don't need to. And again, so just do that with all of your sizes. Okay, so they should all kind of be like that. And then what you want to do is use, I've got this like, it's a really cheap kind of rolling pin, but it's really handy. But basically if you just pop the end and just kind of hold it like so, just so it starts to, can you see? You just want to start to kind of help it into that kind of open book look. So again, just going to kind of squeeze it around on that side. So you can kind of see the, the shape that I've got there. So again, do that on all of your pieces. Okay, so there is my Miri card, then I've got my white, and if you kind of layer each one on top, you will see, you will get a nice quarter of an inch, um, you know, uh, border with each color card there from the top and the bottom. And then the side is a bit different because you're gonna be lifting each one kind of up to create your open book. So first of all, what you want to do is even on, no, you don't need to do it on the very, the largest one, but every size, so your three smaller size, size pieces, you want to put some tape along your middle spine and then just on the outer bits there. That's all you need to do, because none of this is actually going to be stuck down, okay? And then first of all, what you want to do is take off your middle, and get that stuck down. So if you start from the bottom and bring it up a quarter of an inch, keeping your score lines lined up, and then just make sure it lines up to the top. Or start from the top down actually, because it'll look better if your top's all um, you know, lined up properly. I've got a little sticky mark there. Let's get rid of that. And there, where they've come from. Because I haven't used wet glue on this one. Okay, there we go. So now you will have that look. And then you want to take off one of the sides. Now, the idea here is not to have it too 
you don't want to have it too raised because the the actual case here that we're going to put it in is only half an inch now mine is a bit thicker than half an inch so it doesn't matter if you do go over that but ideally you just want it to kind of um, just be lifted up slightly so all I'm doing is keeping it in its curved kind of position and then sticking it down can you see it's just slightly lifted off there okay and again just take this side and you want to make sure that you've got an even it's about three eighths of an inch there again on this side with a similar kind of um, like dome effect on top like so you see there so that's what you want to do so then you grab your next one so I've got my green again take the middle out first and stick that down okay and then again I'm going to take my backing off of this one here and just very slightly lift it up so you've got the same kind of gap between this red one and the white one so again if I just bring that up now you can see what I've got there so it's entirely up to you if you're not even going to put it in a gift bag you could have even more layers and really you know lift them up even more so um, it's entirely up to you so again I'm just going to bring this one down and just lift it up slightly but that one could have come up a bit more yeah it's not really raised too much I'll lift Mm, actually it's fine it doesn't really actually matter because then this one's going to go on top anyway and that one's going to come up again so then the last one goes down okay and then again and some people use foam adhesive um, on these bits here to lift it so it's entirely up to you if you want to do that as well but again I'm trying to just show you a nice way to do it with very few supplies and um, you can do this without a scoreboard just with your ruler and you can do it without, um, you know, you don't need a trimmer, you can just use scissors to cut it all. So, yeah, hopefully lots of people can do this. So look at that. And then just kind of bring it in a little bit there. But you can see it all lifted up and it looks like a nice book. And once that's on its stand, I just think that looks absolutely gorgeous. Next, what we can do is I'm going to stick this back piece down while we've got it in this design. Actually, no, before we do that, you want to decorate some, if you want to add ribbon, now's the time to do it. So I've got this strip of ribbon, which is going to go right through the middle, and it's going to fold over, and then that back piece will cover and conceal your ribbon. So the best way to use and stick the ribbon down is with red tape, because again, that works really, really well with fabric. So I'm just going to run a strip through the middle. It doesn't need to cover the whole of the um, spine. Actually, I want to wrap it around a little bit as well. I just need to add a piece onto this side here. So just pop that bit there and just trim that off. Like so, and I'll undo that in a minute. But just make sure that's all nice and stuck down. And then, again, you can put anything here. You know, you don't have to have ribbon. You might want to put um, some washi tapes. Um, anything really. Okay, so I'm just going to lie this down in the middle because it's not a half an inch wi um, wide ribbon, so I'm just making sure it's in the middle like so. Flip that over. Obviously, I don't want to put any pressure on this because I don't want to squash it. But just fold that over there and bring that one down and just trim off little excess okay so that's just in place because we've got more decoration to do so now we can stick down this piece so again you can put um, you know if you want to put uh, double sided tape all over it but I'm not worrying you're only going to have your message on the back of this but it, you won't do a um, you're just going to follow the curve that's already in the card here so again just stick that down so it is in the same position on the as the fronts are so just line it up with your inside score lines there one side and just let it follow the curve and then stick it. Oh, it's gone crooked. Or did I cut it wrong? Oh well, never mind. Again, I don't worry, I'm not worried about that. It's homemade. And again, just stick that one down. So, next I'm going to do the decoupage. So, in the pack, you get loads of these sheets. Now, on the sheets, you've got one, two, three, four 
five, and then sentiments. There might be six, seven, eight. There might, you know, it, don't worry about the number. But the rule of thumb is the higher the number, um, or the smaller, sorry, that was it. That's what I was saying in before in videos. If you've already popped these all out and lost your sheet, don't worry. The smaller the kind of whatever the image is, that's your last piece that you would stick down apart from your sentiments, but the smallest pieces here, so these guys will be the last ones that I would stick down. Basically just pop them all out, okay, and then you start with your scene, which is this one here. Now if there's any kind of little kind of uh, bits where it was attached, still kind of showing, you can just trim them off, Ooh. or you can use an actual, uh, an actual, you can use a nail file and just kind of sand off the sides but that's fine. And then you just want to use foam adhesive. Now the term decoupage means to layer. So it's basically layers on top of each other. So that's what this is. So there's decoupage where you would use um, like paper mache, where you'll just rip lots of different pieces of fabric or um, papers and layer them and cover something. So a lot of mixed media um, projects are used with that form of decoupage. This form of decoupage is these cutouts and you layer each one on top of each other with a layer of foam in the middle. Some form of adhesive. Well, you don't have to, but that's the whole point, is to kind of give the dimension. So I'm just taking off the backs there. And then you lift it up, and you basically mirror and stick it right over the image underneath, because it will be exactly the same. So you just want to line everything up. Like so. And that's your first layer. So now if I bring that up, you can see I've got this little raised seam. So then you get the next size. So remember, your, your smallest ones will be your last one. So this will be the next one I stick down. And that is going to go right over the top of that one. Okay, so now if I bring that one up, you can see now this one is raised up. Then we've got these ones, like so. So you can see now all those different layers. And then we've got the little penguin and the smaller snowman there. So I'm just going to cut one of these pieces in half so I've got two thin strips. Okay, and then my little sentiment, I've actually taken from one of the other scenes because I like the green and the glitter on this one, it matches nicely. So again, I'm just going to cut a couple of thin strips of my foam and then that one is going to sit across like so. Then I'm going to stick this down onto here, but I don't need to, I'm not going to put it on any foam, I'm just going to add a strip of my red tape here. So just a strip through the middle there. Okay, and then just line that up and kind of push down. I might just put my ruler underneath there. There we go, and then I can make sure that's really stuck down. Okay, so that's just a simple page that I've done there, my opening page. I absolutely love this. Then I've got a bow, which is going to go there. And I've got some of my little bells here. I should have another one that's uh, run away somewhere. And I've got some twine. So I'm going to use this darker twine here. And I'm basically just going to thread them through the little bells. And they are going to be hot glued underneath that bow. Okay, so I've put all my bow, um, all my string on my little bells there, and basically I'm just going to kind of hold them and stagger the bells so they're all hanging at different lengths. So something like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to snip off the edge there, so it's all the same. Okay, you can tie it in a knot if you want, but what I'm going to do. Oh, don't knock that one over. Is put a blob of hot glue, like so. I've just knocked it over, but it's okay. And then I'm going to lie this glue over. Okay, and I'm just trimming off any loose bits because then my bow is going to cover all of that again. So I'm just going to pop. Oh, that's a nicer, yeah, that's the right way. Pop a little bit of hot glue. Okay, you can see there what I've done. It looks so nice. Then I've got my piece for here, so this is just that same stamp sentiment, and I've just 
taken a few of the singular little um, decoupage pieces there. I've put a strip of tape again just down the back and then that one is going to sit in the middle like so. And put my ruler in there. You can see how lovely that looks. So that is it done. So now we need to make the stand. So the easiest way to do the stand is I'm using a pre-made card. Okay, so I've got my card base here. Now this is a five by seven, okay, so you do want that seven inch height, yeah, along the top here. Now what you want to do, the easiest way for me to do this for you, so this is a piece of ten by seven cardstock scored along the ten inch side at five and folded in half, okay, but otherwise it's a pre-made five by seven. So with it folded in half, along the top, grab my pencil, Along the top where the folded side is, size, where the folded side is, you want to come in at half an inch and just put a pencil mark there. Okay, so you can just see my pencil mark. Then along the bottom, you want to come out at two inches and put a pencil mark, and at three and a half and put a pencil mark. From that two inch pencil mark, you want to come up one inch and just put a little cross, and then from that three and a half inch marker, you want to come up one and a half and put a little cross okay so there's my half inch pencil mark my two inch my three and a half and then I've come up one inch and I've come up one and a half then you can just draw a pencil line down to that cross there and then draw another pencil line to that other cross and then draw a pencil line down like so okay we're now going to cut up here cut down there and cut all the way up there to give us this shape and there is your stand it's a really strong stand as well so that's why I wanted to use it with this um, card that I've got so you're cutting through two layers at the same time so just very neatly come up that one and then I'll go right across that one, I can rub all my pencil marks out in a minute and then down like so. Okay, and I'm just going to rub out those pencil marks. Okay, and there's my stand. Now I may decorate this as well, I'm not sure, um, but basically now that will stand up like so and your card will sit perfectly on top. Okay, it looks so nice. I love this. Okay, so that's our that done. So you may be finished now and you're like, well, I don't want to make the bag. That's fine. But obviously if you do, then you're going to need these pieces that we went through earlier and that one there as well. And I've also got some pretty pre-made tag um, handles there as well. And these are gold, so they work really well. Okay, so we want to burnish all of our sides. Okay, decide what one you want to be your front and your back. This is going to be the back, so what you want to do is just cut up that first little square like so, and again that one, all right, and then just take a very tiny little wedge off of each of them. They're just tiny, tiny little tabs, really, really small, so that's what you should have, a little tab there, okay on both corners. Then you want to add tape onto the back of this. So you can use wet glue if you want, but I'm going to use my same red tape, which has got all fluff on it from where I stuck the bells down. And basically you're just going to run it. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. It's, it's not heavy, but you just want to run some tape, kind of st sticking towards the score line side. Okay. Okay. See all that fluff there? It will get covered, but how annoying and then I'm just going to take a very very tiny little wedge off of the tops there okay so that's the back piece all done and then this piece here is what we're going to have on the front so this is when you want to stick down this piece here I have changed the size of this slightly because I had ruined the end of it so this piece is um, seven by nine and a half okay so I'm going to stick that down 
on the front there. Okay, and then with that front piece, you want to remove the squares completely. Okay, like that. And then we can stick it together. So grab your base, fold up the bottom one here where we've popped that tape, and take the runoff. And then this bottom piece here, you're going to stick perfectly over the top. So just Make sure the bottom's all nice and flush, like so. Okay, so that's what you will have. And then these side pieces are going to now come in and stick to the bottom of your base there. So just pop a little bit of glue. Okay, so just fold it up that tab there and put some glue on it. Bring it in. And you can see that I'm just sticking it down on the bottom there. So it starts to give our envelope bag its shape. And again, just going to try to do this with one hand, holding it at the same time. So again, pop glue underneath there, okay, and then stick it down on the base. Okay, so just hold that there for a second. And then bring up one of the sides and take off your backing. This one's got my fluffy thread on it, so I need to make sure that all hides. I'm going to start with the top and line it up, just kind of tack it down there, and then you can just run that all the way along. And it will perfectly cover up the side there. Pop it on its side and just use your ruler. You can get that in there then to make sure that's all nicely stuck down. And then again, do the same with this side. Okay, so there is your envelope bag. Now I've just popped a Velcro dot in the middle there, and then I'm going to stick this piece, which was my two by five, and that's gonna go like so. It's a little bit off actually, but it's fine because it's underneath like that. Actually, I should have told you to just curve it. You can score it if you want, but I'm, take it off actually. Um, just If you just do that with it, so we're just going to curve it around. So again, just stick that down, bring it over, and then again I'm just going to add some of my wet glue about, I don't know, an inch up. You can pop obviously double sided tape there if you want. And then just bring that over, making sure it still stays nice and like arched, curved like that, because basically what you want to do is give it that space to be able to open. So obviously you've got your thick card going in there. Okay, so you can see what I've done there. And then again, I can just undo my Velcro and just make sure that's all stuck down. Okay, and then you just need to pop some hole punches. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to do it in the middle of this piece to here going through both pieces of card. So I've gone through the front and the back. And again, just line it up with the center. It's entirely up to you where you want to put it. And then I've got those gold pieces. You can use eyelets if you want, but if I use eyelets on this one, then my um, these won't fit through. So I want to use these gold handles. And that's going to bug me that that's not in the middle, so I'm going to have to take that off without ripping too much. That's better. It's going to bug me otherwise. Okay, so that is it all done. So now we can open that and grab our card, and it will fit perfectly inside, like so. I love this so much. Oh, and you'll put your stand in there as well. So let's take that back out again just so we can enjoy it. Let's see, we've got all the decoupage there, so you need to be careful. But that's that one there. And if I kind of hold it up, you can see how that's going to look. Like I said, I think I will decorate this, maybe put a strip of some red or something down there, but it doesn't matter if not. But I just love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial showing you how to make the Book of Tricks without any templates. I really do love these. I think they look absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to give these to my family. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed the first tutorial for the Christmas workshop. I have so many fun things to show you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so, so you don't miss out on any of that. And also make sure you go over to Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group and you can start sharing all of your makes that are inspired by my tutorials. I would love to see your versions of the Book of Tricks. So until next time, thanks for watching guys. Bye.